guys, for today me and I'm Rosie of Rose Greenery. I am a plantita from Quezon City, Philippines. Welcome to my channel. First, uh, thank you again for coming back to my videos, for watching them, for your comments and you know your DMs uh, to me on my uh, IG and Facebook account. Uh, thank you so much, I appreciate them. Let's all continue to pray for everyone's safety, especially for our uh, health workers. And let's continue to stay healthy. Also, let's try to stay kind to others. I'm sure we all could use a simple gesture of uh, kindness. For example, you know, by hitting that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> you could also follow me on my IG and FB account. Links below. So for today's episode, I want to share with you about my beautiful Raphidophora tetrasperma who unfortunately suffered from fungal infection. Aww. Warning guys, I'll be talking a lot on this episode. I don't have that much b-roll for you this time. Also, I'm not a plant expert. I'm just a plant hobbyist or enthusiast. <laughs> So I really cannot tell whether a plant is suffering from a fungal infection or a bacterial infection but you know I just want to share with you my experience on this baby. I'll be sharing with you how I was able to identify that it is indeed fungal infection. Well the thing with my beautiful baby here, um, it took me weeks or more than a month before I was able to identify that she's suffering from fungal infection <laughs> so let's go back to the basic questions we may have about plant fungal infection what causes fungus in plants and how do they get infected so imagine this fungal infected leaf let's zoom in and imagine the white powdery stuff is made out of these red dots and those tiny dots are the spores which the fungi produced. These spores may be carried from one plant to another by wind or insects or water and the tools that we use in our gardening. So if these spores get onto one leaf of your plant, they will develop and begin new infections and spread further onto the plant. Wow. And as you all know, fungi, fungus, they thrive in moisture. And they are common during wet, humid seasons. So, And I remember misting a lot on my plants, especially on her, my Rafi. Also, um, fungus, they may come from the soil. Uh, the old pots that we use, they may also come from the new plants that we just bought. So what are some of the symptoms or signs of fungal infection? Leaf spots with rings on the edges, powdery mildew on the leaves. I usually see them on the velvety leaves like the philodendron micans, um, glory also, also the alocasia friedeck. Also, another sign would be yung parang kalawang ang itsura sa leaves ng plants natin. And you know, there are other reasons behind those spots like insects or pests. But again, I'm not expert. There is a bunch of articles about plant fungus. But with all the symptoms that I've just mentioned, they would spread out on your plants quickly within days or weeks based on my experience. So going back to my Rafi here, last June, uh, I started to notice uh, that she started having those spots, silver color spots, and then some turned yellow after. Tapos yung iba mukhang kulay ng kalawang, ganun. Nag-start siya sa isang leaf, um, and then after a few days, napansin ko parang dumami do sa isang leaf na yon yung markings or yung spots. And then after a few weeks, I started noticing yung ibang leaves na katabi niya. Nagkaroon din ng ganong spots. Aww. And then there was one leaf. Itong dito sa part na to. Um, nagkaroon siya ng yellow spot. It started as a small one. And then after a few weeks, lumaki na siya. 
that time, it already occurred to me that it could be fungal infection. But I still let her be, thinking that uh, probably the leaves were just, were just bitten up. Since wala pa siyang pole nun, um, I just had her leaning on the wall. And I even thought that it was due to the recent construction here in our home. Uh, kala ko nasa gilang siya ng mga contractors kasi nakita ko talaga katabi niya yung hadanan nun. So I tried to repot her to a bigger pot plus I changed her medium plus I also gave her this pole to climb on. Baka kako mag-improve but then after a few weeks I have observed na ayun kumakalat pa din yung uh, yellow spots. I also noticed lumaki yung uh, yellow spot dun sa isang leaf. And the problem was, it looked like it was eating the inside of the leaf. Well, normally, sa ibang plants ko naman na yellow spots, they just stay that way. Hindi sila lumalaki or next spread. But this one, uh, yung yellow spot, it started to get bigger. Plus, yung itsura niya, para siyang kinakain yung loob ng tissue ng leaf. So, if you'll notice, it looks like it's decaying from the inside. Anyways, um, until I uploaded my houseplant tour, if you haven't watched that, I'll put a link below. So, another plantita um, messaged me and informed me that uh, the yellow spot on my Rafi could be in fungal infection. So, you know, if, if you're watching, <laughs> you know who you are, thanks to you. So that time we chatted and nung sinabi niyang fungal infection Oh my god <laughs> So we chatted, she told me she's not expert on it but it could be And as I tell her the story, how it started, um, how it was and I even sent her pictures Ayun, During the whole chat, I just realized Shucks, so oh nga, fungal infection nga to. <laughs> if you also have spots on your leaves, don't panic if it's just one small spot and doesn't spread. In this case, the rest of the leaves at the lower part of the plant develop the same symptoms within a month. So, mabilis lang siya within a few weeks, it spread out na siya. Parang coronavirus lang, as in within less than two months, Nagkaroon na ng pandemic sa lower part ng plant ko. So what I did, and in case this happens to you, just do the following. I moved her away from my other plants and I had to isolate her to make sure my other plants won't get infected. I also had to cut off more than five leaves especially the heavily infected um, but I didn't film it anymore since sobrang sak sa puso ko nung tinanggal ko yung mga yun and actually it took me days before I managed to cut off those leaves sobrang sak talaga sa puso ko guys na <laughs> tinanggal ko yung leaves kasi hello, hindi naman siya yung common plant and alam naman natin yung presyo niya, di ba? I also tried repotting her, I changed her substrate and even disinfected her pot I had to change her substrate since pwedeng may fungus na rin yung soil niya. And I also tried spraying her leaves and topsoil with this Detain M45. So I got this from Shopee. I'll put the link below if you need it. So this is a fungicide. You could uh, use this for all varieties of plants, even for your ornamentals or uh, vegetables. So for my mixture on this, I mixed about 1 4 teaspoon of detane to my 1 liter watering can which I transferred to my spray bottle. Then I also added water to the spray bottle cause so technically that's a little more than 1 liter of water. So I sprayed on her twice or three times na yata. I sprayed on her leaves front and back and even on the stems, uh, her top soil, and even her pole, I had to spray on it. And I also took a picture of her to help me identify if her leaves are getting spots or not. So yeah, this is her now. Um, so far, 
I haven't observed any, you know, any new spots on her leaves. But as you could see, she looks malnourished since naubos na yung leaves niya sa lower part. Plus, unfortunately, some of her leaves became a meal for caterpillars. Higad siso talaga ngayon. So, you know, I'm unable to spray her with that organic pesticide from uh, Lutian since, you know, I didn't want to mix detain plus the pesticide. Kaya, you know, <laughs> yunayaan ko na lang. Talagang, chinaga akong chinecheck ko siya every day for any, you know, higad or caterpillar. Kaya lang, may nakatakas pa rin. So, even this new leaf, wawa naman, even the new leaf, ayun, hindi nakaligtas sa caterpillar. Aww. But, overall, you know, I am still happy. I was able to prevent the spread of, you know, the fungal infection. Plus, I'm confident that she'll be able to recover on me soon. <laughs> I really feel sorry for my Rafi since and dami niya pinagdaanan talaga guys. So lesson learned for me, um, I stopped misting my plants ever since and I didn't realize that it would cause her fungal infection. So I would also advise you stop misting your plants especially the velvety leaves kasi sa weather natin dito they will just dry out fast. What you can do is probably try light watering on your plants or, you know, add uh, trays with water and pebbles. That way, it will increase the humidity. Also, you could use this uh, detained mixture on your plants for preventive measures, uh, especially during rainy season. Kahit wala pa kayo nakitang sign of a fungal infection, you could spray on them uh, with this as preventive. Also, I've read that you could use a baking soda for fungal infected plants, but you could research further on it if you want to try that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the story behind my fungal infected plant, my Rafi. If you guys have any other stories about plant fungal infection, comment below, share your story. We would also appreciate sharing your tips on how you were able to treat your plant from fungal infection. If you guys have any other questions, just also leave them as a comment below. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something new today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!